everybody, my name is Hannah, and today I'm going to be doing a shakedown post hike review type thing of what I did and didn't use on my really quick overnight hike in the Clifty Wilderness on the Swift Creek Trail in Kentucky. It was a high of 30, a low in the single digits, got a whole lot colder than we expected, but it was so muddy other than the sleeping pad. This pack is completely untouched from my hike, so we'll just talk about the pack first off. This was my first time taking the pack out, brand spanking new, and it carried so well. I don't know if I'm just ridiculously skinny or if I have a lot of problems with packs or what, but every pack that I've ever used, Kelty, Gregory, Deuter, now Granite Gear, I always get bruises on my hips, like rubbed raw on the lower part of my back. We walked a total of 14 miles over the course of two days, going about two and a half to three miles an hour. I didn't really feel it until I got home. It was like, holy crap, my back is bleeding. So, and I only had 17 pounds. So, I don't know. Like, it happens with every pack. So, that's the pack. Then I have my whistle, which the way I'm going to do this, the way I do it after every hike is I have my used on the right or will continue to carry with me on the right and my did not use or do not want on the left. Tracking poles, these things saved my life. It was a really hard trail. I'll just go through the brain. Notebook, did not use and I have never used it on any day hike or backpacking trip. I don't know why I continue to carry pencil, did not use, book, did not use, Bible, used, headlamp, we night hiked seven miles, definitely used that. Fire starting kit. I take a fire starting kit every time. Always think I'm gonna make a fire and I never do, so I think I'm gonna leave this out. I have a lighter, I know how to make a bow drill. I don't need a fire starting kit. Tip belt pockets, gloves. I was swapping them on and off throughout the hike. I guess I'll put them there. Knife and pepper spray, take them every time. Compass and map, definitely use this. Trail was ridiculously, terribly unmarked. Water bottle, duh. Water filter. I'm gonna put this in the right pile. Even though we used portable water this time instead of filter, I brought this if it was going to be warmer, but I didn't want this to freeze, so didn't use it, but I will continue to use that because of how much I love it on warmer trips. So actually, for winter trips, I just need to make a note to myself, use portable water, not Sawyer Mini and water bag. Sunglasses, use those, put them in the side pocket once I took them off. Nalgene, winter trips, definitely use warmer trips. Definitely not, so going over there. Toilet paper. Everywhere that I hike, the leaves are huge and perfect, so I never use the toilet paper. Trowel, definitely use that. Under the lid. I did have my Thermarest original inflatable and insulated. It would go over there because it was a little overkill for me. Definitely too warm and it was just really heavy and bulky and I didn't like having to blow it up. I like my torso length a lot better than full length. A warm jacket. I wore this maybe two miles. All the other times I was active enough that I didn't need it. So I guess I could have gotten along without it. Now I've got the food bag. I could be ridiculous and shake down my food bag, but I'm not going to. But I definitely took too much food this time. These are my socks that got wet that I wore and then they froze. That's really gross. They smell terrible. Ugh. Oh, and I did take an extra pair of socks. Those would go over there as well. Four tarp steaks and a buttload of tie outs. Did not need the tie outs. Definitely used the steaks. I might have needed a few more, so those kind of go in the middle. Tarp! Definitely use that. Nemo Viola 20 degree. Even though 
even though it got down to six, was way too warm for me. I wore the clothes that I hiked in, which were leggings, shorts, t-shirt, and cuddle duds, least hoodie. And then I wore gloves on my fingers and socks. <laughs> like, I was just constantly unzipping it, flipping it open, working with these little gill things, trying to, like, make myself comfortable. It's supposed to be a comfortable to 20 degrees and survivable to 10. I was so hot. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Get a quilt or something? Like, ah. So, honestly, I think this goes over there. Because every time that I've used it in the suggested temperatures, I've not been comfortable. Ground sheet. Did not use this. Even though it was super muddy. Extra shirt. Didn't use that either. Extra pants. Didn't use those either. Survival blanket thing. Didn't use it. Didn't want it. I would have, like, been a burnt piece of toast. Extra shirt. Didn't need it. Didn't want it. Oh, well. Trash bag. That's it. Cool. So, I'm going to stick with this backpack because it's the most comfortable backpack out of all of the ones that I've had. It's the most adjustable backpack out of the ones that I've had. The amount of literage is perfect. And I really like the color. I'm a girl. Don't judge. Oh, yeah, it goes over here.